Hi everybody, in this video I will explain you what are the options, career options usually a B.Tech mechanical student can opt for after completing their college or graduation. In this video I will explain you 5 career options best suitable for a mechanical engineering candidate. The first option is by default getting into a core job core mechanical industry or mechanical industry getting job into that industry is the first option that definitely a mechanical engineer can do we will understand each and every option in detail in a while the second one the second option is definitely after doing graduation or b.tech in mechanical candidates can also opt for higher education or m.tech m.tech in mechanical with any specialization so doing masters India in India or abroad the choice is on the candidate so doing the higher studies is definitely the second option for a mechanical engineer the third option is getting getting into research and development there are many companies which does research and development kind of projects so getting into those company is also very good option for a mechanical engineer the fourth option i would say starting their own business starting their own company consulting firm related to mechanical projects this is also one very good option or career option for a mechanical student the last one the fifth option is getting into it it or information technology getting into a software job how mechanical b.tech student can get into it job we will be understanding in a while the very first question is doing mtech is it good advice for a b.tech student it totally depends it totally totally depends on their career goals if a candidate who has everybody in their family a postgraduate and if a candidate who does not have a, a financial crisis or need to work immediately earn uh, immediately for the family those people can definitely look for masters doing mtech or ms in mechanical specializations so yes mtech is a very good option but it also depends on what is your career goal or life goal so yes when you do mechanical engineering uh, mtech programs there are many specializations that you can choose from the few few mechanical uh, uh, mtech program specializations are thermal engineering doing mtech in thermal engineering manufacturing engineering design engineering mechatronics and robotics that is a very high in demand subject or specialization there is also automotive engineering aerospace engineering materials science and engineering fluid mechanics fluid dy dynamics renewable energy engineering nuclear engineering structural engineering cad cam and computer aided engineering we have vibration and acoustics biomechanical engineering nano engineering instrumentation control engineering environmental engineering and computational mechanics so these are few specializations which definitely have good demand if you are planning to do ms or masters or mtech related to mechanical engineering these this is about the specializations now lot of people have this question what kind of core jobs a mechanical b.tech engineering students will have what kind of designations will be offered to these candidate now depending from company to company the projects they are working for depending on these things their designation or uh, their uh, their uh, job roles will be decided few of the designations i will explain for you the very commonly given designation to a b.tech mechanical student who is working in core core industry mechanical industry few of the designations are mechanical design engineer manufacturing engineer quality control engineer maintenance engineer project engineer product development engineer hyac engineer automotive engineer aerospace engineer energy robotics engineers research and development engineer consulting engineer structural engineer nuclear engineer biomechanical engineer materials engineer so these are the these are few of the designations which are which are given depending on what kind of project you are working and what kind of task which kind of project or product you are working for now the big question is lot of people might have this question 
विच कंपनीज हायर फॉर मेकैनिकल इंजीनियर इन कोर साइड कोर साइड जॉब रोल्स वॉट आर द कंपनीज दैट यूजली हायर कैंडिडेट्स द वेरी पॉपुलर वन आर जनरल इलेक्ट्रिक दैट इज कॉल्ड जी ई वी हैव सीमेंट्स फॉर जनरल मोटर्स बोइंग एयरबस टेस्ला हनीवेल टोयोटा सैमसंग दीज आर फ्यू ऑफ द मल्टी नेशनल कंपनीज विच हायर्स मेकैनिकल बी टेक स्टूडेंट्स फ्रेशर्स एंड फॉर कोर साइड जॉब आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट आई टी जॉब बट फॉर द कोर साइड जॉब दीज कंपनीज हायर्स मेकैनिकल स्टूडेंट्स वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली वॉट इज द सैलरी अ मेकैनिकल इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट कैन एक्सपेक्ट इफ दे गेट इन टू कोर जॉब इट टोटली डिपेंड्स फ्रॉम एक्सपीरियंस और कंपनी टू कंपनी एंड ऑल्सो सिटी टू सिटी बट ऑन एन एवरेज अ पर्सन हु हैज जीरो टू टू ईयर्स एक्सपीरियंस मेकैनिकल इंजीनियरिंग गेटिंग गेटिंग इन टू कोर जॉब दे कैन एक्सपेक्ट अ सैलरी फ्रॉम टू पॉइंट फाइव लैक्स पर एन एम टू सिक्स लैक्स पर एन एम इफ अ पर्सन हु हैज मोर देन टू ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस टू ईयर्स टू फाइव ईयर्स एक्सपीरियंस कैंडिडेट्स कैन एक्सपेक्ट फ्रॉम फोर लैक्स टू टेन लैक्स पर एन एम पैकेज वॉट इज द फ्यूचर ऑफ मेकैनिकल इंजीनियरिंग गोइंग इन टू कोर जॉब इज इट वर्थ इट और शेल वी मूव टू आई टी वॉट इज इट I'll explain you. There are definitely many industries which are growing very fast, right? Few of these very fastly growing industries are industry 4.0 and smart manufacturing, sustainability and green technologies. These are the industries that are very fast growing, and uh, yes, because of their growth and high in demand, uh, mechanical B Tech students are also. will be demand in these industry you have to find out companies which are working in these industry so again i will repeat industry 4.0 and smart manufacturing sustainability and green technologies biomechanics and medical devices additive manufacturing 3d printing robotics and automation aerospace and space exploration energy and power generation these are few industries which will definitely have very huge demand for Uh, btech mechanical students now very commonly asked question is can a btech mechanical student shift to it is it possible uh, to be honest if you are getting into an it company through campus placement that is definitely a good option but if you are trying into a big multinational company it projects or it work there will be very less chances of manu- of uh, multinational company selecting a, a mechanical student for doing the it work there are exceptional cases also i won't say it is impossible but it is possible also but for exceptional cases exceptional cases i mean to say people who are extraordinarily skilled or who are very deserving candidates they will definitely have opportunities in multinational companies also but they have to prove their skills i mean to say if someone is very good in full stack development or if someone is very good in coding they have to prove their coding school skills they have to show that they are a very deserving candidate when compared to the computer science graduates so they have to prove their skills yeah for those candidates getting into a it company uh, with less uh, hurdles is definitely possible now uh, what is what are other options i would also say there is a sixth career option mechanical students getting into government jobs also yes gov- in government also there are many 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 different different types of government uh, examinations which mechanical engineering students can also do and uh, i will read down what are the different uh, examinations that are conducted uh, keeping in mind uh, this btech mechanical students can also apply for the very first one is engineering services examination in short we call it as ese conducted by the union public service commission upsc ece is a prestigious exam that recruits engineers uh, which recruits engineers for various technical roles in government departments such as railways or defense or central engineering services and many more so yes ece ese that is engineering services examination is a very good option for our mechanical students the second one is public se- sector units psus psus definitely will have very good uh, option where engineering students can apply for there is state public service commission exams there is railways defense services public work departments research and development organization national thermal power 
corporation that we call it as NTPC. There is steel and heavy industries, Central Mechanical Engineering Research Institute, we call it as CMERI, Central Public Works Department, in short we call it as CPWD, Naval Dockyards, Public Health Engineering Departments, Teaching and Academia, at the same time Technical Officer Job Roles. So these are the different different government exams a mechanical B.Tech student should opt for or they, they can start preparing for. Now I will explain you what should be the plan of action for a B.Tech mechanical student to get into IT job. If you are a fresher who has done B.Tech mechanical very recently, very recently I mean to say less than you have completed college within less than two years of time, then you will be considered as a fresher, right? Now because you are from non-computer science graduation, if you can opt for any coding skills, coding coding careers for example full stack development or java or python these kind of javascript these kind of coding languages if you learn then yes there will be very high possibility of you getting into our uh, uh, software engineering or software development projects software development software project software uh, development projects are not very easy i would say that that definitely needs coding expertise if you learn this skill there will be very high chances of you getting into at least a smaller organization also if not multinational companies there are many other companies like small organization or large companies which hires very skilled software developers so you can you should definitely check for that option also what about people who have more than two years or more than three years of career gap those people yes you have to look for careers that are that has huge openings or huge vacancies in smaller organization because as you know multinational companies will not give much preference to career gap people right then what else can a career gap candidate can do choose those kind of careers learning those careers you can also get into a smaller organization or startup companies yes you might compromise with the salaries but getting into a smaller organization and starting your career as a fresher will be much much uh, uh, easier than uh, than applying as a fake candidates or backdoor jobs and those kind of activities so yes there are many good companies smaller organization startup companies only thing is you have to search for those companies searching is the very big task and yes if you search if you get those kind of companies also apply them apply and uh, prepare well with the skills and uh, skills and uh, um, expertise as well so this is how you can apply for this is how these are the different different kind of uh, uh, career options that i have explained for a mechanical btech student now you tell me which one which company is your favorite i mean to say or which career option is your favorite you want to go this direction you want to go for uh, government exam preparation or it or core job or higher studies what is your opinion about this career mechanical btech graduation or qualification let me know in the comment section of this video thank you so much and if you like this video please click the like button if you're watching this video for the first time please do subscribe and don't forget to click that small bell icon also my name is sushmita madhu and this is my english channel and thank you so much all the best namaste